The life of a ceratosaurus on the Isle of Rima can be a bit of a rough one. Too slow to hunt most things, especially as a juvenile, I spent the majority of my growth cycle scavenging. This, of course, is the purpose of Cerato. The animal has often been referred to as a garbage disposal, rot wagon, trash compactor, and rank tank. Okay, I may have made the last one up. Anyway, in keeping to Cerato's nature, while also knowing that the server was made up of probably 70% Cerato's, I opted to hide in the deepest regions of the map between meals. As soon as I could, I made my way back to the main hot zones. I think one of the biggest issues that I have with Spiro is the distinct lack of food in many of the prettiest areas of the map. I had wandered deep to the southeast, to a place I've never actually been before, but in all my wandering I found only one AI. Had I been a faster starving animal, such as a Carno, I easily would have died from starvation out there. As it was, my food situation was getting a bit sketchy when I turned back. Being the bully of the aisle, I sniffed out something edible and tracked whatever was carrying it deep into the trees. Unfortunately for this baby Carno, Serato has a strong nose. It didn't matter how far he ran with his meal, I was bound to find him. The next day, I logged on once more and completed my growth. I wasn't sure of my plans other than find something to test this big boy's attacks on. I had already played a bit of Serato earlier in the testing cycle, and it hadn't gone over very well, so I wasn't very confident in how any fights would turn out. I knew one thing for certain though, I did not want to fight another Serato. The first and only time that I tried, I didn't survive the fight. I managed to find some food but it was surrounded by a bunch of other Cerratos. Thankfully, they were all friendly, and ultimately, a pair of other Cerratos decided that they wanted to attempt a 1v1. After watching that play out, I left the area and followed the calls of a Tenanto. I had tracked its calls throughout the night and finally found it. From my good old days of playing Carno, I wasn't really sure how Serato would fare against Tenanto. Carno can fight it mostly through the use of its charge attack, but Serato has to rely on agility and caution. One wrong move can lead to half of your health being knocked out in a single combo and two rounds of that can leave a Serato incredibly low and vulnerable. Initially, the fight was going okay. I think it was a first for both of us. These new interactions mean discovering how best to fight, how the attacks work hitbox-wise, and what each side needs to avoid in the moment. I managed to land a couple of bites and dodged some really sketchy kicks, so I was having fun. Ultimately though, I somehow got hit by a tail slam while I was beside the Tenno. I'm not sure if it was a latency issue or a hitbox issue, but the mistake really hurt. I didn't have any idea how injured the Tenno was, as this was my first real fight using a Serato, so I decided to keep on. Eventually, I was hit by a staggering kick, dodged a tail slam by the skin of my teeth, and that was that. My health was much too low to continue the fight, so I gave the Tenno some space and a nod to let them know that I was forfeiting. Thankfully, he was a good sport and allowed me to walk away. After healing slightly, I went to get some water and search for food. My hunt obviously hadn't gone the way I'd hoped, but there's always going to be food around center, so I wasn't too worried that I would starve. I quickly found two other Serratos who were looking for a third, so I joined up with them, and we decided to go looking for that Tenno again. It wasn't long before we found it, but sight of three adult Serratos running toward it sent him flying across the river. Can't really say I blame the guy. I wouldn't have stuck around either. On the other side, though, we spotted a Dino that was on land and decided to cross and see if we could take him on. 
In the aisle, I always warn that the last one to cross is the one who dies. In this case, it was almost proven true. Luckily, Mal Santa escaped with their life, but the Dino made it back into the water. Remember him, this isn't the last time we'll see this Dino. Once across, we spotted the Tenno again, but he was preparing to log out on top of a nearby rock, so we left to continue onward without food. Another new addition to the update is, of course, the Gallimimus. Their speed makes them very overconfident at times. I would know. I was the same way the other night on a stream. Unfortunately for this galley, his overconfidence in the face of a trio of Serratos cost him his life. Still hungry, we continued onward. Serato's food doesn't drain very fast, but it takes much more to fill it up, so once it gets low, things can get a bit dicey. I heard a Packy yelling and decided to investigate. I hadn't seen many people playing Packy during this stress test, so I wanted to fight one if possible. What I didn't know is this one was already being hunted. Or perhaps with fate, I'm not really sure. He jumped down off the rock and vanished, and immediately after, I came under attack by two Serratos that were hiding in the bushes. Luckily for me, I was not alone. Some Tenza got a good bite on one of the pair, and while the other fled, we began to track the injured one. He didn't get far. Underestimating the steepness of the mountainside, he slipped and fell to his death below. Later that evening, with much fuller bellies, we continued wandering the area, hoping to find a good fight. We spotted another lone Tenno. Now I was told that Serato was faster than Tenanto, and could, therefore, run them down if it came to it. I'll have to double check on the speed of the two, though, because after running through all of my stamina, the Tenno got away without a single scratch. Eventually, with Sentenza having crashed and been killed by a Dino, I continued my journey to fight another Tenno. I was determined to practice the interaction as much as possible, because I was intrigued by it after my first attempt. I thought maybe, now that there were only two of us, the Tenno we had chased earlier would be willing to fight us in a 2v1. However, he crossed the river, and I decided that he was only willing to fight one of us at a time. Okay, challenge accepted. This fight went noticeably worse for me. The Tenno was definitely more prepared than I was, and I had to tap out pretty quickly. He was still in good shape though, so while he allowed me to back off, he stood waiting for Mall Santa to tap in. Little did I know though, there was another person waiting in the wings, itching for a fight. We all know that raptors in Update 6 were pathetically useless animals. In Update 6.5 though, they've got all their agility back, plus the complete removal of their failed pounce recovery animation. A missed pounce means just continuing to run without issue. Under normal circumstances, though, a raptor still isn't a horrible issue for a Serrano. Sarah has heavy bleed resistance and plenty of health to withstand a solo raptor for quite some time. These were not normal circumstances, though, as I was already bleeding heavily and had only a sliver of health left after my fight against the Tenno. After crossing the river twice to try and keep the silly thing off me long enough to heal, Mall Santa broke off their fight with the Tenno and came to stand by me. I figured, now that I was better protected, the raptor would run off and I could heal off my bleed. Unfortunately for me, my groupmate didn't realize how bad off I was, and they took off to chase some compies. With my bleed getting lower by the minute, and worried about my low health, I headed for the river once more. Remember the land, Dino? Well, he returned to tickle my toes and sent my poor Serato to the river bottom. 
If you made it this far, thanks for watching the video. Please comment and like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next one.